Good morning, everybody. Orin J here with my first ever Zenless Zone Zero video. This game is a Hoyoverse game. It's in beta, and it's not a game that was on my radar as far as games I was looking forward to. But when I received an invite to the beta, I figured I'd install it. I'd give it a play. You know, see what it's like. If you guys follow my channel here, you know that I'm a strategy RPG, a turn-based RPG kind of guy. So this being an action RPG, it wasn't something that I was was considering playing but you know when given access to a shiny new toy I like to try it out and I gotta say I'm very happy I did try this game out so I'm gonna walk you through what I've discovered about this game a little bit of a first impressions video here just what you can expect what I've experienced in this game coming from my background so if you care what I think about this game check this video out and I want to start by addressing the combat because this is an action-based combat game that's one of the things that was originally a turnoff for me because I'm bad at those games. Like, I'm not a very good action you know, RPG player of a guy, but in this game, I actually find myself doing pretty well. I don't know if that means the combat in this game is easier than some other games I've played. I don't know if it means I've gotten better as I randomly turn 38. It's probably not that, or I don't know if it means I'm still at the beginning of the game and eventually it will get harder, but I've enjoyed it. And one of the things that has allowed me to enjoy the combat in this game a little more than I thought I would is it's not just destroying me for not being a god of action RPG games. I've been able to enjoy it. I've been able to experience different characters, kind of learn their skills as we go. Now, speaking of that, like, let's look at skills in this game real quick. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this. This isn't like an in-depth skill guide to all these units, but here's like my only S tier character that I have right now. And if we look at their skills, every character has essentially four things they can do, but all four of those things do multiple different things depending on like how you push the button when you push the button etc so for example um the, my girl here and this is uh gosh what's her name my girl here uh Vic alexandria sebastian uh, alexandria alexandrina sebastian i have a hard time with that name but here's her skill so her basic attack, whack the dimwit. She sends her puppet out. You can spam this and her puppets go out there and like attack people. Okay, that's cool. But you can also just hold the button and she'll pull her pets back in to do electric damage like in an AOE circle. So you can see that this move has two uses. That is more complicated than just spamming, but not so complicated that, you know, a boomer like me is too awful at the game to use it. So I enjoy the level of complexity there. Then every character in the game has a dash and you can see you will do different types of dashes with her like if you just hit the button you'll just dash forward you can move in directions and dash you can use attacks while you dash and you can do dash counter attack so there's four things you can do with one of the four skills that this character has and that's how it works for all the characters in the game every character also has a special attack so you can see here her special attack is a downward striking electrical damage attack or if you've charged up your energy which you get from base attacks you can do an ex special attack which is sort of similar in her case but it does like a lot more of like a chaining effect version of that attack so that's pretty cool her special attack two different versions and then every character also has an ultimate the ultimate has two variations you basically charge up this energy bar at the top left of the screen then it hurt you could do her regular ultimate right here the queen's attendant or you can do chain attacks in this game if you've played other games in the past where you have teammates like in the background and there's like special moments when they can jump in with a special attack. This game has that. I have not mastered how to pull those off exactly yet, but switching between your teammates at the right times or using these chain attacks is a big way to be a lot better at combat and it's easy enough that I can do it, so you could probably do it too if you're watching this video. Anyway, it's it's fun. It feels fast paced, but it doesn't feel punishing in its fast pace. So I've, I've really enjoyed the combat more than I thought. And you can see I've only gotten to experience, what, five characters to this point? You start the game with these three here, one, two, three, and then I picked this one up and this one up from the gotcha, and I have one S tier and a bunch of A tier so far. So I will explore more through this beta and see if the combat is something that gets harder or if it stays in this kind of sweet spot of, I feel 
feel like I probably could lose if I wasn't paying attention, but honestly, if you can time your dodges right, like the, the enemies do telegraph moves and you get a blink on the screen. And if you can time your dodges around those blinks or time your combo attacks right, uh, that, that's pretty, that's so far early game. That seems to be the trick to being good at combat, but I haven't tried. You can see a whole host of characters that will probably be available on launch. And I've only been able to try five of them so far. So, okay, that's what I have to say from the combat. Now there's more to the, um, gameplay than just combat though. One thing in this game that I've really enjoyed is when you go into like the hollow world, I'm just going to call it like the matrix. For example, you go into the internet and you have to explore these puzzles in there and there's like different um, nodes you can step on. You see it on the screen. Some of them will like launch you to another place. Some of them are locks that you have to open with currency that you find on the board. You'll find areas to enter into combat on there. And that's when you bring your party members out and do the fighting. So I've enjoyed that bit of it. The puzzles haven't been super complex at this point, but the last one I did, I did have to use my brain a little bit. I did have to think about it. And there were definitely ways, but that by fully exploring the puzzle, like the one little internet world I was in in the game, I was able to get some more prizes, including some of the premium currency that you can use to pull new characters. So there is reward for fully exploring the world you go into. The puzzle part of it is fun, and that's kind of your exploration phase. And then if you go into combat, you're put into kind of little arenas to do the combat that we just talked about earlier. So I really did enjoy the little exploration version of that. Now, speaking of things you get to explore in this game, I want to really hit on 6th Street. The reason my character is standing next to this sign is this is your world that you're in and one of the greatest things about this game one of the things that i did not see coming was just how alive this world feels now it's not huge and i don't know if they're going to add more to this or not like i have no idea but the little bit of this that you get to experience every one of these shops is important you can go to this like noodle shop right here and buy buffs that will actually like impact you when you're exploring exploring the, you know, the matrix world, the internet world, whatever you want to call it. There's a uh, arcade over here where you can play mini games. That's super fun. And so like you jump into this arcade and it's, there's only two games that I have unlocked right now. One of them is snake duel, but you can see the ranking. Like I'm the, in the 42nd percentile, but I'm nowhere near, you know, some of these people like nobly, some of you guys might recognize some of these people. There's tech tone right there in 10th place. So that's awesome. There's, these are full on like old school arcade games in this arcade very fun to play and something to do that's competitive in the game i need a little bit of competitiveness in my games i'm not sure if there will ever be pvp in this game but at least i can go into this arcade and kind of have that like old school i'm gonna try to get a higher score than you thing so that's awesome there's a newsstand where every day you can buy a scratch off ticket and kind of read the news the people in the world move around you interact with them with side quests you know here's a shop over here where you can customize your um companions in the matrix world there's a lot to do here the there's a lot of movement it does not feel as static as some worlds i've been a part of is what i'm trying to say you also run random play right here which is a little uh video store it's like an old school sort of like a blockbuster video kind of thing and this is where your base of operations is. Here's your storefront right here. You'll have customers that come in and like are looking for a specific type of movie to buy. You can like set up what movies you're advertising that day down here and you get bonuses. You can see I'm earning money. I'm earning currency down here by being open. I think I've had 58 customers today. I don't know like much more on that and there's not a lot going on so far here, but it is a fun little bit that again makes the world feel more alive. Here's your office. Here's where you dive into the hollow deep dive system where you kind of explore the internet world here's the other main character and you get to start the game by picking between the male main character which you see here and the female main character which you see here and the if you pick one of them the other one is still a part of the game which is neat they just have made them both a part of it and there's they interact with each other they are both active members of the world which i thought was cool i think when i play this game when it goes live i will probably pick the female female main character. I think she looks a little bit cooler than the male. Usually I kind of have to play the male character, but I think in this one, I will switch to the female. Either way, it's nice to get that option. And so I'll just see how I feel about that 
as we go on. So that's what I've explored so far. Now, I do want to show you how to get new characters in this game. You do signal search right here. So if you've played, you know, other games from like Hoyo before, this will look very familiar. Uh, there's two banners right now. You have the Mellow Waver Ride banner with the S character or the S tier character Ellen, who's an ice element character featured on here. And then there's the standard uh, banner that's very similar to other games like this. So I have enough currency right now. I'm going to go ahead and show you what a poll looks like. I'm going to do a tin poll on this featured banner. So I'll use some of my currency and I'll use some of the like tin poll tickets, which in this in this game are film reels like what you see on the screen. You can get a B, an A or an S tier character right here. I did not get an S tier character. I got nine B tiers and an A and they're not all characters. So this is what the animation looks like. These bang boo guys right here. These are your companions as you go out into the internet world, into the hollow diving world. They follow you around and they either attack the enemies or cast buffs on you, things like that. I've got A and B ranks of these so far. There's a new character. So I got Ben Bigger. Uh, yeah, Ben Bigger. I did say that right. I expected one of these words to be a play on the word bear. That's not the thing, but you can see a lot of style here in this pole screen, in these pole animations in the world. This game bleeds style. Now, this style might not be your style. A lot of people prefer that like high fantasy or at least some kind of fantasy style. You're not getting that here. It's very much what you're seeing on the screen, like urban, you know, mixed with these little like creatures, lots of waifus in the game, that kind of thing. So this is what the animation looks like. There's a weapon. So right here, I did pull a W engine weapon. So there is a weapon gotcha in the game, but it is not separate, at least not so far from the featured character gotcha. You just get them all in the same one. So there's that. I'll probably do a whole video on exactly how the gotcha system in this game works, but there's the ending screen. And then you get some currency that you can spend in the signal shop here to like buy more poles or buy, yo, know, here's duplicates of some uh, uh, A-rank characters, Ambi and Billy. You can buy those in here. Again, if you've played these kind of games before, you know what this is like. Like, it's not different. It just looks different in that way. If you enjoy it, it's here it is. And then again, look again at the style right here. Like, look how cool this menu screen looks. Here's your energy. You can see I'm at 146 out of 180. I have not run out of energy in the game yet, but that's not abnormal for it being a brand new game. There's my new bear bro. I'll probably work him into my party. Um, so far, I've enjoyed ranged characters because once again, I feel like ranged characters a little bit easier to play. So I'm kind of better at them. If you run out of energy, you can actually buy coffee at the coffee shop to restore that. So let's go ahead and load back onto 6th Street right here. I'll give you a little taste of um, of what you can do on 6th Street to kind of enhance your experience. And I've only unlocked one drink at the coffee shop. I think this will give you buffs in terms of like what type of loot you can get at some point in the game, which I'm looking forward to that. Again, this is probably something that deserves a whole video. You can see I've most of the types of coffee I have are still locked, but the only one I can buy, which I could just come in here and order, um, we'll recharge my energy plus 60. Now it's giving me a warning right here. It does not provide bonus drop. So all this one does is recharge my energy, but you can watch our bro right here, make us some coffee to drink. And yeah, it's cool. Again, bleeding style gives the world more of a sense of feeling alive. And overall, I've just really enjoyed my time in this game. I'm going to push through as much as I can in this beta. I got a lot of other games I'm playing right now and all of that, but, but so far, so good enjoying it. And if you guys have any questions or want me to explore anything, make some videos about other parts of the game, let me know in the comments section. And that's going to do it for this one. So make sure you click that pre-registration link down in the description. Get yourself pre-registered for this game. It doesn't hurt to pre-register whether you plan on playing or maybe you're thinking about playing. I will put out more content for this. And uh, yeah, I know it's fun. And at the end of the day, when you're playing a game, are you having fun or not is uh, probably the most important thing to consider. I am having fun with this game. And so therefore, I will cover it a little bit more. Let me know what you want to see. Have a great day, everybody. I'll catch you next time. Peace.